I'm a med aide. So when I arrived on the scene, they still had kids inside. They started bringing the kids out. And I was aiding assistance. One little girl was just, just covered in blood, head to toe. Like, I thought she was injured. I asked her what was wrong. And she said she's okay. She was hysterical, saying that they shot her best friend, that they killed her best friend, and she's not breathing, and that she was trying to call the cops. And I asked the little girl the name, and she's... <laughs> and she told me, hey, she said, hey, Marie. That's how you learn. She was so sweet, Mr. Cooper. She was the sweetest little girl who did nothing wrong. She listened to her mom and dad. She always brushed her teeth. She did. She was creative. She made things for us. She never got in trouble in school. Like, I just want to know what she did to be a victim. <laughs> She loved being a big sister. You have a three-year-old yes. son named Zane. We have a three-year-old son named Zane who asks for his sister every morning when he wakes up. Just... He doesn't know at this point, I assume. We've, we've informed him that his sister is now with, with, the, God, with the God and that and that she will no longer be with us. And of course he just cried. I mean, he's three years old and it's still it's just emotional for him to even process. <sighs> she just turned 10. Her birthday was on the 10th, May the 10th, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. You had a party for her. We had got, we just gathered a family and had a dinner. She just got her phone. She'd been wanting a phone for so long and we finally got it for her. And... <laughs> she just tried to call the police. She tried to, she actually tried to call. Yeah. Yes, I got confirmation from two of the students in her classroom that she was just trying to call the authorities. And I guess he just shot her. How you look at this girl and shoot her? <laughs> oh, my baby, how do you shoot my baby? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, of course it's okay. 